Church of Pentecost is 10.38% of the Ghanaian population. And we are, we are against this LGBTQ blasting. And the blast is never going to end. Our concern is not about today. It's about the future. Today, when we let in this LGBTQ plus, what is going to happen is that we are going to accept same-sex marriage. Which the president says that it is never going to happen at his watch. But if he allows LGBT plus to start, it is true that it is never going to happen at his watch. By the time we get into same-sex marriage, the president will not be the president of the nation. I agree with him. But he should stop this. He should close the door at where it matters. And we are saying that he should close it now. This movement is an insult to the intelligence of God, the Creator. We are just trying to tell God that you didn't think enough. This is how it should have been. And if you have a society where there are no absolutes, soon there will be no law. And we have to be very careful. And our lawyers who are arguing for all this, the matter on the floor is not about rights, it's about morality. Amen. So the Church of Pentecost, with a population of 3,196,000, 605 are supporting this bill that is before the floor of parliament. We want to encourage our parliamentarians to argue and argue well. And then know that they are creations of God. They didn't come out of apes. And so they shouldn't use science as the base. They should know that the one who made this creation has the right to determine as to how the creation should behave. And the other creatures should not tell us how other creations should behave. Now, we have written six memos with 15,000 signatures. <laughs> Our trustees have signed. All pastors and wives in this church have signed. Even our students have signed. And so we want to present the six memos coming from our women, our men, the youth in the Church of Pentecost, the children in the Church of Pentecost, all workers in the Church of Pentecost, and of course, our theologians. And so, in all humility, we want to do our presentation. And this is the signature. have brought in 15,000 signatures. I believe that this is significant enough. If they give us time, we can even bring 2 million. Yeah, just to make a statement that this bill, we support it 100%. Um, and so we are praying for the parliamentarians to make good arguments. Uh, they should know that there is a creation. This is a sovereign state, but the whole world is a sovereign state with a ruler. And then the one who created us reserves the right to tell us how to behave. If we leave the right to behave here in the hands of the creation, then soon every lifestyle will be, will be shielded by law. Till we have some anarchy state, lawlessness, lawlessness in this nation. Now, if we want to have sex with a beast, they say it's okay. If I want to have sex with a pig, it's okay. If I want to marry my daughter, it's, it's okay. If I want to have sex with a tree, it's okay. I, I mean, so where are we going? So the issue is not about rights. The issue is about morality. What is right and what is wrong. Having said that, we, are not, we don't hate LGBTQ people, not at all. And we are not saying that they are not human. But we hate their deeds because it is evil. God loves humanity, but he hates sin. And that is what we want to do. 
Besides, we also think about the future of this nation. You allowed uh, LGBTQ in, in the society. Now, what happens is that now they'll be infiltrating through our educational system to educate our young people of their sexual orientation. Then we'll move to same-sex marriage. And then what this LGBTQ seeks to do is to extinct the human population. Soon there will be no multiplication because people are not marrying uh, the opposite sex. So who do you want to produce, uh, produce a child for you to come and adopt? If, if, if your lifestyle does not produce human beings, when God says we should be fruitful and multiply, we, human beings are needed on this earth to manage the earth. Now when we extinct them, then we are extincting the world.